Hello, uh, I am Shrashti, a PhD student at ICDS. I'll be talking about the types of stars. Ever since people started observing stars using telescopes, uh, they tried to classify them on the basis of their colors. Later, they could measure the spectrum of the light coming from the stars, their luminosity, etc. From the spectra and the brightness of the stars, uh, using the laws of thermodynamics, and can calculate the surface temperature of the stars. Currently, the classification of the stars is based on this diagram, which is called the HR diagram, where, which is the plot between the luminosity and the temperature of the star. Uh, here in this plot, the colors uh, actually show the color of the stars, and as you can see, that most of the stars fall under the main sequence category, which is this diagonal line. Um, <clears throat> here you see that there's a clear pattern between the color, uh, mass, uh, size, luminosity, and temperature of the stars. As you see, the smaller stars, which are red in color, uh, are cooler uh, uh, and are um, and, and are less uh, less luminous, whereas the blue stars are more luminous, high in temperature, and are bigger in size. Our sun is also uh, is a main sequence star, and it's, you know it's yellow in color and so uh, However, there are other stars also which are like white dwarfs and the red and blue supergiants, uh, which don't fall under this category and don't follow this pattern. These stars, uh, for example, a red giant is much more luminous than the red star, which is a main sequence star, and it's much more mass, uh, much more uh, bigger also. There are other kinds of stars also, like neutron stars and black holes, which are not shown in this diagram. And let's explore a little bit more about all these. First of all, the protostars. The protostars are the stars uh, which are formed by the gravitational collapse of the interstellar gas uh, triggered by some disturbances like shock waves. These stars are hard to observe as they are very less dense and very less opaque. It takes about a hundred thousand years uh, to become a main sequence star from the protostars. A main sequence stars, for example our sun, are, uh, uh, have, have, have the core in which the helium and helium combine to become, uh, sorry, hydrogen and hydrogen uh, combine to become helium. Uh, the main sequence stars um, can uh, in future become a, a black hole, a neutron star or a white dwarf depending on their masses. As soon as the hydrogen fuel is run out uh, uh, of the star in the core, uh, it can, uh, if, if, if its mass is good enough, it can support to uh, to fuse heavy elements like helium and helium to make uh, much heavier elements. Uh, so when this happens, the star becomes like a red giant. It becomes, uh, it expands in size. And uh, for example, our sun is, is expected to become a red giant. And it would be such a big that it would even engulf the Earth's orbit. Similarly, the blue giants can also be formed. Uh, however, they are very less uh, stable, and but they have very high luminosity and high temperatures. In principle, the fusion process would stop uh, uh, by the moment uh, there is a formation of iron in the core, as the iron is the most stable uh, element. However, by the time it does so, uh, by the time the iron is formed, the core of the uh, star, if it is uh, massive enough, it would collapse under its own gravity and violently eject the outer parts, uh, which is called the supernova explosion. Uh, the core would collapse into such a high density, it would have about the radius of 15 kilometers, however, the mass would be something around twice or thrice the mass of the sun. However, this would happen only if we started with the main sequence star, which was greater than the eight solar masses. If the main sequence star was less than the eight solar masses, after becoming red giant, it would instead uh, become a white dwarf, like as expected from our sun. Here also, uh, it will collapse uh, the core after uh, the helium is uh, made, after the helium uh, field is, is finished off, and the outer layers would be uh, thrown away, as shown here. Further, if the star was much more massive, the main sequence star was much more massive, instead of collapsing into a neutron star or white dwarf, it would instead collapse into a black hole, which is the singularity. Uh, as we know, the black holes are such massive that uh, that even light cannot escape from there. It, it has uh, such a high 
density in gravitation. Uh, further, there are other kind of uh, stars also, which are the pulsars, which are the neut uh, spinning neutron stars. These stars have a beam of particles which is coming uh, out of their poles and uh, uh, and they create uh, pulses of the radiation which can be detectable on Earth. The first time the scientists saw the signals, they thought that those were from the aliens. However, uh, later on they discovered that uh, it was from the pulsars, not aliens. So this is it for today. Uh, thank you.